Hello. In this tutorial we will show you, how to index a list of terms in a book, where those terms might exist in the body text of the book, and might also exist in the footnote sections of the book. We will show you how to automatically list their footnote numbers, with much little effort required from you. We will index this 354 pages book for this tutorial. This book has footnote sections in almost every page of the book. We will index this book using a small list of 10 terms, that we have collected from the book. Those terms exist in the footnote sections of the book, in addition to the body text of the book. Let's check one of those terms in our book to see how it appears. We will investigate the term nickel prisms. We will search for it inside the book using Adobe Reader. It appears two times only in the book, once in the body text of page 235. And the other one is also in page 235, but in the footnote section of the page. It's footnote number 250. To list this right in the book index, we should write the footnote entry for this term as 235, in, 250. The 235 number means that this term exists in page 235. Then the N letter, which represents a prefix for a footnote. Then number 250 which represents the footnote number. Let's move to our program. We have already selected the book that we want to index, and we're ready to go. Click Tools, Settings. Include exclude words, include words. Click add category to define a new list of terms to include. We will rename this category, footnote category. Then we will copy and paste our collected list of terms here. And we will save this category. Now click the generating index tab. Enable the Detect Footnotes checkbox. Now the program will start detecting the footnote numbers for any of our index terms. But for the program to detect the footnotes accurately, we must click the advanced link and specify the settings of the footnotes used in our book. We have three buttons here. The Footnotes Format button will let us select how we want the footnote numbers to appear in the final book index. The default selected format is the most famous one, so we will keep it as it is. Let's click the second button, the Footnotes Font button. This will allow us to specify the font features used for the footnote text section. So the program could understand that this text is a footnote section. To specify this, we will open our book using Adobe Acrobat. We will move to page 235. Let's step on the body content of the book to see its font. It uses Times New Roman font type, of size 12. Now let's step on the footnote text to see its font. It uses Times New Roman font type, of size 9. So if we move back to the program, we will set the font size of the footnote text to 9. That's just enough. No need to set the font name. Click Save. Click the footnote numbers font. It's exactly the same window, but this one is to specify the font feature of the note numbers used in the footnote section. Let's check this in Adobe Acrobat. Here is the footnote number. It uses Times New Roman font type, of size 6.48. So we will set the font size in our program as a range from 6.4 to 6.6. .6. Now we're in a safe side. Now the program has enough data to detect footnotes in our book accurately. So click save, then OK. Let's move to step 2 by clicking next. Enable the option, index specific words in the book. Click the include words link. Enable the footnotes category that we've just created to use it. 
be sure to enable the checkbox index those words only. Now the program should index the terms in this include category only, and ignore any other terms in the book. Click OK to save. Click Generate Index. Done. The program has listed the footnote page numbers for our index terms alongside the normal page numbers, which is what we've wanted. The term nickel prisms appears twice, once at page 235, and the other at page 235 for note number 250, which is what we have mentioned at the beginning of this video. We're sure now that we have right results. If you prefer to use another format for the footnote numbers here. For example, instead of using the in prefix here, you might prefer to use in, then, dot. Simply change the selected format from the program settings, and when saving the settings, it will be applied here automatically. So, click Tools, Settings, Generating Index. Click the advanced link. Click the Footnotes Format button. And let's select the second format, instead of the first one. Save the changes. And as you can see here, when returning back to Step 3, the new selected format has been applied automatically to all footnote numbers. Let's move to Step 4, and write the index to a new PDF file to check it out. We hope we've given you good start to indexing all footnote terms found in your book. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.